What's up, Bass Heads? This is Mr. Bass here today during the coronavirus quarantine. And I am going to do an unboxing video today of the Six Cents Super Sack. Super Six Sack. Since we're locked in the house, may as well break this thing open and see what... Hey, this is cool. A little tackle bag. Very nice compared to these things. You know, these things are okay, but I mean, what are you gonna do with this? This uh, this bag here, anyway, is uh, practical. You can put a bunch of soft plastics in this thing. The old six cents bait bag. Cool. I was not expecting that. Nice. Let's open her up. See what we got in here. Okay, let's start with the bait bag. Uh, these are new from Six Cents, and these are typical bait bags that you would normally put soft plastics in. The Six Cents website says that this bag, this smaller size bag or the regular size bag holds 10 to 15 bags or packages of baits. So not too bad. The price on this is $9.99. So 10 bucks for, for the bait bag. So moving on in the super sack. The first thing we've got here is the Crush 50X square bill. This is Chrome True Shad. So, um, the Crush 50X, it has a kind of a, it's, it's a typical square bill, you know, it deflects off cover and uh, has a faint rattle in it. And it's it's a very good square bill crankbait. You can compare it to, you know, the Strike King KVD 1.5s, 2.5s, 2.0s. Really solid crankbait. The next thing we have here is the Snatch 70X. It's kind of a plastic thing. I don't know why. The 70X, uh, the Snatch 70X is a um, lipless crankbait, rattle trap, 5 eighths of an ounce. This color is Bleeding Shad. Looks like a good color. Might wanna take this one out. Uh, the, the Snatch 70X is, let's see if there's anything else into it. It has a rattle chamber in it, number four hooks front and back. And you know, typical, typical lipless crankbait. As always, they have very good details on their lures. Nice 3D eyes, great paint jobs. Kind of see it has a blue back. Silver back sides with some blood spots, gold gill plates, white belly, big hooks. One thing you'll notice about Six Cents is they have good size hooks on their baits. The Curve 55, this color is Ghost Brown Craw. So the Curve 55 uh, dives five to nine feet. It has a tight wobble, and uh, it's made for kind of rocky banks and uh, erratic hunting, very similar to the Wigglewort. And I like the Curve 55. I throw it quite a bit. All right, my favorite six cents crankbait by far. 
the Crush Flat 75X. To me, all of their crankbakes really are great, but there is something about this Crush Flat sided crankbait that's just fantastic. And this is the chartreuse spank color. Again, big beefy hooks, nice color patterns, great details, big square bill. The action of this thing in cold water is just great. Although I've caught them in warm water too with this thing. But this is more of a cold water crankbait and I think it's one of the very best crankbaits on the market. And if I could only have one six cents crankbait, it would be this one right here. And this color's great too, to tell you the truth. Next thing we've got is the Divine Swim Jig. This is a half ounce jig and this is the baby brim color. And as you can see, Supposed to be, look like a bluegill. It's got a little orange on the head. It's got uh, kind of the bluegill colors in the skirt. One thing about the Six Cents swim jigs, they have this <clears throat> flat, they have this flat head. And they say that is to, so that you can skip this thing under docks and other places. I've never tried that. Um, I have fished this swim jig sparingly not a ton because i don't swim jig fishing is kind of one of my least favorite if i'm gonna fish a say a similar condition where i would throw a swim jig like in grass i'm gonna start with a chatterbait and if i can get a chatterbait bite on i'm not touching a swim jig so this is kind of a last resort bait for me not to say that these aren't good baits they also have provided the trailer that you could put on the back of the swim jig. This is uh, called the Divine Swim Bait. This is the 3.2 inch size. And this color is called Bait Juice. It's got kind of a lemony back. And then the back is more of a sparkling, kind of shimmering uh, belly. You could also put this on the back of a chatterbait. You could put it on the back of a spinnerbait. You could just put it on a ball head jig and just swim it alone by itself. That'd work great for smallmouth for sure. So I have never tried these and we'll look forward to giving these a shot, probably on my chatterbait. But I'll keep this as well. So that's that's the Super six sack coronavirus version as we're sequestered at home. They have a nice set of lures always that come in there in their boxes. And just to kind of show you that this is my favorite, I've actually got a couple of them just sitting here that I was fiddling with. This is one of my favorite colors right here. Lava truce, I think is what they call it. And here's a chartreuse blue back. Love these flat crankbaits. Have a good one, guys. See you.